the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. You know, matter of fact, in, Jer in, in Jeremiah 17, 4, it says, Curse is the man that trusts in man and maketh his flesh his strength. And who heart is departed from the Lord. That's a curse. So anybody want to sit there and praise themselves based on the color of skin, based on trying to make them superior and all this stuff, it said, is it written? Who you are. Now you want to be what's written or you want to be what you feel or what you believe and your what you've been told if you if you want to go by that then just remember it is written that there's a place for you period take it for what it's worth look at this and give us this day yesterday is gone tomorrow is not promised but today and the bible all the scripture says sufficient today is evil thereof so did you give this day and what do you get this day What's the most key ingredient? Think about what is written. He said, our daily bread. The daily bread is the word of God. Meaning, give us this day the word of God. Give us this day the will of God. Give us this day the word of God. That is our daily bread. That's why it's important he wants to get the, day, the word of God daily because we need to be able to refer back to it as we go through the days and changes in life. Every day we go through tests and we need to be able to use the open book to pass the tests. Come on, saints. <laughs> and look at it. And forgive us of our debts and we forgive our debtors. We're asking God to forgive us. And he's telling us, I'll forgive you, but don't forget to forgive you. You, be give, you will be forgiven as you forgive other people. <laughs> it is written that I'm forgiven. It is written that you're supposed to forgive me. You sit there, you want to play, there's oh, black people this or white people that or whatever, all that stuff and continue to try to find your way to find wars and, and rumors of wars and, and killing people, hurting people, putting people down. It's written. How you forgive other people. I mean, if you got a problem because of the color of my skin, then you need to forgive me because of the color, because the word's telling you to forgive me. And I'm supposed to give you because the word of God says to forgive you. That's what it says. It is written, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. So if you want to forgive your debtors, if you want to be forgiven, you forgive your debtors the way you want to be forgiven. That's what it's written. That's how it's supposed to be. I know you feel like I'm justified for not forgiving. You forgive people as you, are, you want to be forgiven. That's what's written. You can sit there with your flesh and jump up and down and say, this is how things are supposed to be. But the bottom line is you're supposed to forgive other people. Let me come off this again for you. I got to come off this real quick. Listen, what is written? Forgive those people the way you want to be forgiven. If you don't forgive people the way you want to be forgiven, then you won't be forgiven. That's what's written. That's what's written. That was written. He gave that as part of our daily prayer. After this man, therefore, pray ye. It is written that you're supposed to forgive your fellow man if you want to be forgiven. That's what's written. Do you hear what I'm trying to say? Forgive people because you want to be forgiven. And now, if you don't want to be forgiven, you right that you don't need to forgive nobody. But even if you don't forgive somebody, don't forget if they ask God for forgiveness. Whoa. Uh oh. If they ask for forgiveness, God's going to give them, forgive them. Because Christ, Christ paid the price. Amen? And that's what's important to you. Hey, good brother. Man, I got a good subject for you. I'm going to rock your world right now. I'm going to rock it. Oh, look at your pretty wife. There you go. <laughs> hey, hey, look, man, I was on a roll. My title today. Hey, everybody, Brother Addison coming in on the video. And he, I, and I, I'm, he just going to pick up where I... I, I just left off to keep going. And brother, mate, look, the title of the day is called Stop Failing the Test. Pass the Test. And look, you love this. The test is an open book test. Hey! <laughs> the test in life is an open book. If you need answers, 
to the test. You go to the book. And as we deal with things, we go by what's written. That because Christ was tested, right? And Christ said, it is written. See, so if I call you less than a man, call you less than a human, you could be able to come back and say, instead of saying get offended, you say, it is written that I'm a child of God. It is written that I'm a royal priesthood, that I'm a holy nation, that I'm a peculiar people. I've been called out of the doctors into his marvelous life. It is written that I am a, I have a joint heir with Christ Jesus. Huh? It is written that, that I'm, a, I'm heir according to the promises of God. It is written that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh, God, let God is written that I have eternal life already in me. I am a child of God because it is written. I don't need you to tell me who I am. I got open book tests. I can, I can go and point to you who I am. You see what I'm saying? We need to start getting to the point of just using the word of God as the answers to what we face in life. So I was going over the Lord's Prayer because then we're going to get into the subject. So just ride with me. Uh, let me put it back up here. <laughs> I just get, I had to bring that into you, give you a good idea where I'm coming from. Because this is, I think this is, the one of most, look, this is one of the most important uh, study today is to understand passing the test and you pass the test by looking at the open book that is given to us just like Christ did. When Christ was tested, when Christ was tempted, his answer was, it is written. That's how we want to go ahead through life and to teach people to do the same thing. So where I'm at, I was in uh, Matthew chapter six. I was going over the Lord's prayer. And where I was at, and matter of fact, I, I, it's so important. I will make sure I cover this piece of it with you again that I did with everybody else. Look at this. Uh, first of all, the Lord's Prayer in itself, He said, just after you amount to pray this. And this, I call it reminder's prayer. I like the fact is that all, right off the bat, He said, You are a child of God by saying, Our Father, which are in heaven. He's clearly telling you. <laughs> that I want you to come to him as a child. Because that's the only thing I know what a father is, right? A father is, <laughs> if, if, this, if, if that's my, I call somebody my father, that means that's my, I'm a child, correct? Yes. Because it's written, it's written, it's written. Now, look, that king to come, we always talk about the fact that there's a king, if there's a king, there's a king. We talk about he, it's the king. And we talk about the king, God is in us anyway. But look at this. I changed this, and I think you'll love this. I changed it, I said, when I said, thy will be done, look at this. The reverse of that saying is, thy written word will be done in my life and in earth as it is in heaven. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That will is his written word. Therefore, I want his written word to be applied in my life as it will be in heaven. And in heaven, too. Look at it. I ain't saying hell, people. <laughs> I said in heaven, <laughs> that will be done. The written word will be done to me in heaven. I'd rather be done. Do you agree with that, right? you rather have it in heaven, right? You, you, <laughs> I want not hell, not not a lake of fire, but in heaven. I, just get me, at the most people say this, say, just get me in the door, right? <laughs> so thy will, that written word be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, you know, we talk about the yesterday is gone, tomorrow is not promised, but you got this day. But give us this day what? Our daily bread. Give us this day what is written in the word of God. Because that's what the daily bread is. You, you, you try to tell coming from? It's, so as we move forward, let's focus on what's written and apply it. That's why some of my friends and some of the guys I talk to sometimes want to get us off the word of God. Because they know if I start applying what's written, and if they don't give me something that shows written, that's telling me who I am, doesn't give me something that tells me I'm a child of God, doesn't give me the fact is that I'm supposed to forgive one another and all that other stuff. You know what I mean? What's written? If you, you don't give me something that equals the gospel, I don't want to hear you because you're not giving me anything. I want to hear something that's telling me who I am. I want to hear something that tells me that I can have abundant life. I want to tell me that I have eternal life. I want to tell that I'm a child of God. That's what's written. And I'm, I'm going to hold on to that better than anything else. So 
the daily bread is the word of God. That's why he's trying to reinforce the fact is what is written. Give us this day a writ, daily written word, which is the bread, which is the word of God. That's he's just reinforcing it. And then the part of it, you know how people got the issue about the forgiveness. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debt to us. If you want to be forgiven, then you got to forgive people the same way you want to be forgiven. If you don't want to be forgiven a certain way, then guess what? That's what happens to you. You forgive people because he said it. Does that, that make sense? He said it, right? If I want, I'm asking for forgiveness. He said, I'll give you, I'll forgive you, but you got to forgive. I'm going to forgive you the way you forgive other people. That's why it's so important to forgive people. And leaders not into temptation. And the fact is, we're going to be led into temptation. And, and we're going to be tested, just like Christ was tested. But the fact is that he has given us an open book to pass the test. And Christ is telling us, I want you to use the book to answer the questions of the temptations that you face in life. What does the word of God says when you are tempted? That's all he's trying to say. You ask him, leader, not into temptation, but you will be tested. But you got answers. Use the written word as you deal with temptation. But deliver the evil. That's the blessing by itself. I want to be delivered from evil. And we know there's evil all out there, right? <laughs> I want to be living with evil. And then he wraps it up again, right? And he wraps up the Lord's Prayer of his dying is the kingdom. Once again, one kingdom that we need to operate in. We're in this world, we're not of this world. That's what's written, people. I'll give it to you one day. Uh, and the power. You know, you got the people, remember back when we was little young kids and stuff like that? It was a, it was a TV show with the kid, and they were saying, white power, black power. Yellow power, you know, all of those different powers, but the ultimate power is God. The only true power, the only lasting power, the only eternal power is God. That's why that scripture is telling it. His power. If you want to tap into power, tap in his power. And you want to tap into the glory, tap into his glory because it's his glory that matters, not our glory. Glorifying ourselves being nothing. But he glorifying us. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'd rather he glorify us. Just like he glorified Christ, he'll glorify us if we do his word, do his will, and operate according to his purpose. It is forever. That's the other thing you're trying to say. If I want eternal life, uh, then I need to understand there's an eternal kingdom, there's eternal power, and there's eternal glory. We're going to glorify him forever. But the other piece, what is written, and you see that's right, verse 14, for if you forgive men their trespasses, that's what is written, your heavenly father, your 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 father, your, your child, his child, will also forgive you. He said that. That's written. But he also said in 15, but if you forgive men not their trespasses, it is written, neither will your father that you call your father that you call it being a child of God will neither will your father forgive you of your trespasses that's written isn't it that's clear as mud isn't it why it's so important for us to use the word of God to to be explain our behavior my friends and those people and don't forget this too i do like this scripture you know i put it in there that's a theme basic for me for the year is first timothy 2 4. it is written who will have all men saved and come to the knowledge come to the written word come to what's written right because the full knowledge of the truth it is written his truth is in his word isn't it do, do you see, oh, because that's, people, that's the, this, this is in this session here anyway, as I'm, when I go back and do the audit to tape, this is a session. It's kind of long, but God bless you, people, that's just how it is. But, but do you see the central theme is continuing to focus on what is written, you know? You go back to, and you can start, I think, I think that's a, that's a nugget in itself to say as you go through life, Use the open book test to give the answers as appropriate. That's what I'm saying. That's what Nehemiah 8, 8 is all about that I put up there. And that's what we're going with. Now, that's 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 session one for people. I mean, that means when I cut this, edit this tape, this one's cuts off 
right here. God bless you. God bless you. I'll see you the next session. Bye. <laughs> now, Brother Asa, did what do you think about that? Uh, uh, Could I, I cut off? To, 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 to go on to the trespass. Okay. I, I, I was just looking at it. And it was just saying, his trespasses are a size slip. So you're forgiving people that are size slip. Then it, yeah. says, it says, that is to say, unintentional. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So if someone's intentionally okay. committing a fault or an offense against you, mm -hmm. or intentionally sinning against you, Mm -hmm. then I don't know if that applies based on well, on the based, of, based on that that, that ter, ter translation right that translation yeah right well look at the thing is I think we should the best Christ said the same thing you just said and I believe and I think you too if people knew exactly what they were doing I mean I'm talking about seriously if they knew what when they crucified Christ, Christ said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Yeah. And meaning if they, if they knew who they were, did you know, putting up there on that cross, right? If, if they knew that that was the word made flesh, you, you know, are you tracking where I'm coming from? And I'm saying this in life, do if people don't understand, I'm gonna show you a scripture coming up, where it, you know, you remember in Genesis 12, he said to Abraham, and he said this applies because we go now. I'm going to take all the way to Genesis, I mean, Galatians 3. He was saying, is, I'll bless those who bless thee, and then I'll do what? Curse those who curse thee. Now, who wants to be cursed? Nobody. Right, regardless of how nasty, mean, and ugly they may be, <laughs> that's not what they. In other words, I guess the question is: If you were enlightened and come to the full knowledge of truth, would you do what you do? So, I have to take the assumption that most people operate in life ignorantly, and regardless of that, he still said to forgive them. Just like I could, I guess the question is when you, when you said, forgive those that you want to be forgiven. You mean it? So the point is, you, he, I think that verse uh, 12 is explaining forgive if you want to be forgiven. Now, whether you did something intentional or not, I don't know. That's, that's up to you. But the point is, if you ask him for forgiveness, whether you did so intentional or not intentionally, you're going to have to forgive other people the same way. Or there's a, and you know, scripture says there's only one unforgivable sin, right? Which is the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And God, look, God, I guess, you know, he sent his son for the world, didn't he? Yeah. In the world, the world got a whole bunch of intentionally trespasses that have been done. You know? Oh, and before you came, too, I also said this, I said this other thing to people. It was talking about uh, uh, when people talk about the, the, uh, the paintings uh, of, of the European Christ, right? <laughs> I, let me cover off this because <laughs> I think you got we cover most of that, that, that question on that if not we can keep on talking about it you, or you're going to get mull on it turn around but the bottom line is I think he really mean that most people if they knew better they really knew better they really knew what they were doing they wouldn't do it and and, and that's, that's the hope that most of us as we grow and conform to the things of God then we know better and we'll do better. <laughs> that's just my, that's just my thought on that. Uh, but look, when, when somebody said there, they tried to talk about the, the paintings, uh, of the European paintings of Christ, you know, the, the best answer to go back and say, you know, it is written that he was born in Bethlehem. 
which we call proper in the Middle East of Northern Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it is written that the Hebrews went from Mesopotamia, made all the way, well, at least Abraham and all, they made all the way to, to come into Egypt with 75 people. That's written. It is written that they were there for 400 and some years, right? That's written. <laughs> it is written that they left with over a million people. <laughs> That's written. And it's written they only went a block to the street, <laughs> right? They went to Cana. Uh, across, it, across the river. <laughs> <laughs> and you said that river wasn't even there before, right? Oh, yeah, they crossed the sea, Red Sea, didn't they? Yeah. But before they, the, the canal, I think you said, is there, wasn't there before, that separated that, that piece from Northern Africa, hmm. you know? Uh, but the power like, like you said, though, it's just across the river there, right? <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's too far away from, from Northern Africa anyway, is it? No. Oh, no, it's not. So if you, if, and we know what it is written, even historically, what Northern African people look like. And if you're going to live with Northern African people for 400 some years, and you just go go down the block, well, Cana, Cana, uh, you know, that's what it was before, right? That was the Canaanites, were, right? Yeah. That, 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 that was, <laughs> well, it is written what a Cana is, right? Cana, Cana, everybody, look, it is written that Cana was a child of Ham. Yeah. Uh, and Cush was Egypt, who's also a child of Ham. <laughs> uh, not even just Egypt, Africa, right? Africa, <laughs> Most of Africa yeah. is, is from uh, Ham people. And y'all, somebody came up and said these are both in different, various colors of people. <laughs> well, then then uh, I think you get an idea that it is written that the, the European picture that was commissioned by the Pope or Leonardo da Vinci to paint he paid what he wanted to pay. <laughs> well, I mean, he wasn't he 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 wasn't painted by divine revelation. Or oh, was written? Hey, oh, problem with that. He wasn't written, he wasn't painted by what's written, did he? No. There you go. I won't. Well, hey, look, see, I, well, I think that's to me. It's like a, a tap that we tap into something. The fact is, if you go and respond by what's written, then they got to argue with the book and not you. Yeah. You know, I mean, this it's like he did, he does how he did the devil. It's written. <laughs> it's written again. I love it. It's what I'm saying is maybe we have to. The difference is. What's that? <laughs> what he had wasn't transcribed. He wasn't, no. <laughs> but what we have is. So, Amen. so you, you got to deal with that. Yeah, so now you're talking you, about, you, you about Christ. Gotta, they had scrolls uh, in, though, right? When Christ yeah, but came, they weren't transcribed. <laughs> oh, you mean transcribed? Mean trans into a Hebrew. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, got gotcha, you. So, gotcha. so, so, what he got was what <laughs> what was written. What was like written? He said, yeah. What was written? Now, what we have is what was rewritten <laughs> or we transcribed, right? Yeah. Translated. Yeah. So, Which is fine. I mean, it's just it's, uh, it's fine, but sometimes. So you can lose something. You in have to go to what was written. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You really do, because which, which, when people when people start misinterpreting, yes, sir, these scriptures, you have to go yeah. to what was written, just like what was, yeah, yeah, which is fine. I I have no problem with that. As long as you can go ahead and translate. Look, I think the if the central theme of the translations, you know, from, from to English or to Spanish, or whatever. Is, is 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 saying his will you know what i mean i'm talking about his will and, and one of his will is that besides me there is no other god that yeah. I, I don't know how you're going to translate that any other way besides me there is no other god yeah. I, I don't know how you're going to translate john 14 6 he said i'm the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by me it is written i don't know how you're going to change god john 3 16 we said god so loved the world I know some people say, well, look, you know, I said, well, when you get down to it, the center theme is the world that he loved. Or when, you know, when I, and I'm going to show you these scriptures about the fact is that in Genesis, 
one, we talk about 26, we talk about the fact is that he said, let us make man in his own image, in our image, in our likeness. John 4, 24 said, God is the spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. That's written, you know? Yeah. Uh, all the families of the earth shall be blessed because of Abraham. All the families of the earth, shall, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because of Abraham, because of the seed that's coming. That those are things I want to say. You know that like central theme, and the fact is, to love one another. Those, I, but I'm, I'd rather use as long as my the translations equal those things, I'm good to go. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, keep the central theme. What do you call it? The main thing. The main thing. Yeah. Yeah. As long as it got the main thing, if it's taken off and said, no, they, no, brothers, you supposed to go to hell, you was supposed to say, that ain't written. <laughs> that ain't written for me. That's written for somebody else, but that's not written for me. Hey, <laughs> say, brother. So I think that's a really good thing to tap on. And and, and I, I want to keep on working on this, passing the test. So look at this now. Look at this. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord.